Hello and welcome to Hirscht London. This is a new map and a new series that I am trying out. Basically, I'm going to be calling it New Map First Day. We're going to go through one day on every new map with only the required mods set by the map maker, no other mods. And we'll just see how far we get on the first day at five times speed. So let's get on with it. Right, so first of all, we're going to deselect everything and press start. And then that normally gives you the required mods. So we'll say yes, we'll add those in, because we need them for the mat to work, but we won't add anything else in. And off we go. And we start loading. Shouldn't take very long to load. And basically we're going to play on pretty much standard settings. Though there will be some changes so we just go in we will just confirm our look and we are in and where do we arrive we arrive outside what looks like the church that's fine we've got to go and uh, give thanks for our farm and such like Right, so before we go any further, let's just go through the basic settings. So 15, so we're going to be playing at 5 speed, easy economy, traffic on, seasonal growth, yes. Snow, yes, crop, crop destruction, everything on there. Fuel stone I'm going to turn off. Lime required, everything else, normal. We will need to go and buy everything. It'll just give us the opportunity to get around the map and have a look around. So this is by no means a full map review or map tour. It's basically just what you can do or what I can do on the first day. So we'll save that and we'll get on with it. Right, so let's have a look and see where we are and where our farm is. Because we obviously haven't... We're obviously not at our farm at the moment. Let's have a quick look. So there's plenty of fields. All look fairly small. Look like a lot of grass fields around. So let's have a look and see what we own. So we own that small little plot, 86. I presume that's where the house would be. And one field, by the looks of things. Yep, that looks good. Um, can we buy these? Look like we can buy the outside field or the periphery, should I say? Doesn't look like it. No. Certainly buy the fields. E4. Right, so that's a quick look around. So we are we are here. So we need to get up to there. It looks like we need to take a little bit of a walk. So we'll walk up to the, walk along the road just to see where we're going. And down there and up there. Right. So we've got the shop over there. We'll get around to a lot of these places just to see where they are as we go along. But first of all, let's get back to our 
Um, we are we? Kisserai Hechelbach. Obviously a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. I'm just checking where I am. Hospital. So I don't know if this is actually the hospital. But I don't think so. It looks more like a church to me. Right, so I think we've got to go up the hill here. I'm supposing we could walk through the fields there, but... Uh, looks like there's another... What we will do is we'll put on the interactive markers. So this looks like a, another farm. Let's just have a quick whiz around here. I'm guessing we can't get into the these type of places until we've bought them. It's probably not going to be able to get around and buy these. This looks like a cattle farm of some sort. Yeah, but that's probably going to be out of our range for the first day. Let's get back to our farm where we're supposed to be. Just take a run up the hill. It's looking back down the hill from that's where we started. Traffic seems about normal. Looks like another farm up here. Stables by the looks of things. With also milk urn. So it could be another cow barn. This could be another cow barn. Yep, I'm going to say that's more cows. We are getting a little bit waylaid with uh, having a look at things that... It's another little farm up here. Let's see if we, can, if we look through the windows. Not quite sure what we'll be doing here. But yeah, very nicely modelled as such. Looks good. Right, so um, let's have a look and see what the signpost says. Ocean London, where we've just come from, and Flichtenberg. Jump over here. I think we've got to go up here. Yeah, it's definitely looking like either pigs or sheep. It's probably sheep. Also some milk urns here, so could still also be cattle. There's a lot of grassland, meadowland here. Leads me to think that there's a lot of car farming going on here. What have we got here? So we are actually in Flichtenberg. Flichtenberg. I think that's yeah, that must be our place just up there. Road there, I think I saw a trailer. Yep, so we've got this little area there. This is probably our field. Yep, nothing in there. Needs lime, so we'll have to get some lime going. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got a baler. We've got no grass fields. We've got the front part of a mower. Still got no grass fields. We've got a fertilizer 
Let's jump over the tether. Wonder. Uh, the plow. Plow or cultivator, one of the two. Cedar. So not an awful lot of equipment. Trailer. In here, nothing in there. Gonna presume this is our house over here. Here, the sleep trigger up here. Yep. So we don't really know how much we own, whether we own this land or not. Um so I'm presuming we own that. So let's have a quick look. So if we go back into the So we own that field. We've come off the road and it doesn't look like we actually own the buildings. That's a little bit strange where we park our that I'm presuming is the house. We don't own this field, this meadow there or there. It's just pretty weird. So what can we buy around there? Field 52, 370,000. That is just outrageous to start with. We're pretty much blocked in by... Sorry, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. So we own this bit of land with it. Looks like a bit of a strip around there. We don't own these buildings, but we park our vehicles in there. We don't own in anything at the back here, but we can You've got this huge field here. Which stretches back quite a way, but we really don't have enough money to buy that right now. And we've got a little field across here that we've got a line. Well, let's get started. Um, Okay, so we'll get the tractor out, we'll head up to the store and we'll go and... I don't think this... Let's have a look, see, I don't think we've got anything that can... do any liming, so... Trailers... Um, we, uh, we want to have a look and see what we've got. So we've got 155 horsepower on the Massey, which is quite a nice little tractor. The trailer, oh, I hate those type of trailers, the swivel in the front, in any case that's cultivator, so yeah, cultivator not a plow, cedar, fertilizer spreader, fertilizer doesn't do any lime, mower, so we only have the front mower, tedder, we've got no grass fields to do any work on, so um, are we looking for contracts on this this map? Fertilizing, harvesting. So we've got a harvest contract, a canola. Not much money in, there, in that. Right, let's let it, let's head up to the shop and go and get a. A lime spreader, get some lime. Let's get the jump there out and we'll head on up to the oops, it's a bit tight getting out of it. We'll head on up to the shop and go and lease a lime spreader, buy some lime and get that done. We'll lime up that field. 
probably something we can plant now and we'll get started so luckily the shop is just up the drag from where we were so just jump out there that's basically our field the un the plowed up field where the circle is there that's basically our field so we're really close to the shop which is pretty good open the shop menu and we'll go and look at some spreaders where are they fertilizer spreader so that's what we have which doesn't do lime so that does lime that doesn't do lime that does lime so it looks like we'll have to lease that i don't think we need to go any anything special with it don't think we need to put the extension on we'll just do it as is spreading discs what else do they have there 18 meters i think we'll put off oh, for 8000 no not on that field we can we can handle that in 12 meter yep we'll lease it so 2295 not cheap but still, still better well, it's pointless buying it to this point in time so yes okay and we'll need to buy some lime so let's go and look for lime there we go maybe it's 2000 meters 4000 shall we see if we can get away with 4000 meters yeah i think so it's close enough to pop back if we need more yes okay right where do we pick up everything uh, there it is there okay well that's a pity they haven't got the equipment facing the other way around so we have to actually go drive into the meadow to actually hook up would have been better to have this facing the other way refill yeah I'm not quite sure how much we'll need but uh, 4,000 litres seems reasonable there we go 4,000 litres let's go and see how far that gets us Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. And away we go. It's almost like the, uh, like the farm shop is on our farm, it's so close. Fantastic. Right. It's going to get this done. Slightly odd shaped field. Not too bad. And turn on the fertilizer spreader and get going. Quite, quite a quick operation, I think. I think we'll get through the liming without having to get back anymore. Shouldn't take too long to get done. I need to take a couple more passes. We've only used about a thousand litres of the 4,000 litres. So should be good. We should be good. OK. 
get up here. Not sure what we're going to plant in here, but we'll see. We shall see, as they say in the classics. Are we going to be able to get this done in one pass? Just about, we might just have to go back up again. Just tidy up the odd little spot. A couple of spots here, but quite often that is actually, even though it doesn't look like it's been sprayed, it has a little spot there. Little bit on the edge there. And finally a little bit down here. Yep, that looks good. Switch that off. And we've still got about a thousand litres. Go and drop this off. Here somewhere. Maybe just over here. I don't know if that'll actually drop off here. Let's have a look and see. And load. Oh, there we go. Don't think that's actually our land, but it's been unloaded. Let's just get this back to the. I suppose we should have, or we wouldn't have been able to hook it up, but I suppose we could have just got the dealer to come and pick this up from us at the, um, oops, don't hook that, get it returned to them. Fertilizer spreader, return it. Returned. Right, let's get back to the farm and go and hook up our cedar. What are we going to plant? That's the next thing. What month are we in August? So I don't think there's anything we can get planted now. I think we're going to have to get out. I don't think that field needs to be cultivated. Let's go and have a quick look. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be cultivated, so we will Take the cultivator out. Get to the cedar and see what we can plant. Just to get it going. There we go. Got it done eventually. <laughs> Just gonna put this on the art standing here next to the trailer. On the land that we don't own. I presume we're leasing it from somebody. Problem is we can't open any of the doors. Let me just show you. So we've got this barn. Because we don't own it, can't open the doors. Just doesn't make sense, does it? We have a look at the back here. Bit more it could possibly be a garage or something like that. Can't get into it because we don't own the land. 
So we'd have to buy that 300 and something thousand piece of land before we can Well, I, sp I suppose we're all leasing this all else. The other option is, well, the other thing is perhaps we've got squatters' rights. <laughs> uh, why am I struggling to? There we go. Let's. Yeah. So there's no seeds in there, so we'll have to go and buy some seed as well. Just have a look and see what we can plant now. And where are we? There we go. We're in August. So we could plant canola or grass. We could wait till next month and plant wheat, but. Yeah, it's not much we could do. Barley would harvest a month earlier. No, we'll put canola in and get that started and then we'll do whatever contracts we can during the rest of this the month of August basically. So this could just be quite a short first day because we're only at 10 o'clock in the morning and we're really starting to run out of things to do right bag of seed I don't think we'll need more than one bag of seed and there we go seeds yep yeah. one bag And get our messy. Just reverse it up there. So we'll try and do a contract, and it might take us around the map a little bit, and we'll have a look around the map. Oh, what are we doing then? Hit the wrong button. 600 litres of it, and it's full, so let's close the cover and object is too heavy, so we'll have to just leave it there for now. We don't really have anything. In our, in our inventory to um, to pick it up with either so we'll go and plant and then we'll come and refill hopefully we're about to clear that so we'll put it as no real road to this field Where, where are we now? Where are we? Let's get back to here. Give ourselves some room to look at things. Turn it on. Wait a minute. We haven't... Um, We need to change that to canola. There we go. Unfold the cedar and lower the cedar, turn it on, and away we go.
Oops. <laughs> so I said a slightly, slightly strange field, but we're going okay. So let me know in the comments what you think of this concept of just spending a, a day on a, on new maps when they come out. Just a, a slightly different take on a map review stroke map tour because getting around the map you most probably won't get around everything on the map but it does give you an indication of what you can expect to do if you start playing the map just as it is without any mods of course that's not to say that you shouldn't use mods on the map that's, this is just to say well, this is a map in its purest form another headland and then we'll do some up and downs we'll have our first field planted we should probably have to fertilize it as well yes yeah, so we, we haven't got any precision farming on or anything along those lines so as I said we're just playing it with without any additional mods just whatever just with the base game equipment and whatever the map maker has given us or has, has given us to start with this track is struggling a little bit on the uphill um, it is I mean, it's very steep. It's not too bad, though. Yeah, so this is a very, very basic starting setup, which I suppose is quite nice. Um, they good map I, I would imagine for for starting from scratch type games so in, you're going to have to pretty much work to make income there may be some small fields that can be bought we'll have to have a look at that as well see if there's something for 20 or 30 thousand 40,000, maybe even up to 50,000 we can use our existing equipment on and just get going with that don't see why not didn't see anything really small around us here so I'm wondering whether we should just put a worker on this now and then um, go and have a look around I think we might do that. Let's see if there's another field we can buy. Maybe do a contract. How are we looking seed wise? Yeah, that's perfect. I don't think we can need to get any more seed. Let's see if how this works. Should be okay. Right, let's have a look at. It's not where we want to go. Let's have a look at the map. There we are. There. Is there anything? What about this small field here? It's quite strangely shaped. How much is that worth? 77 that's not going to leave us a lot but it's an option 
50. I don't think we're going to be able to afford. At 19, we haven't got money for that. Um, I want to get something that's fairly close. 44, I'm going to... Wait a minute, what about the grass fields that are right here? How much is that? 27. There we go. 107. 70 up here. 34. That's the way to go, isn't it? That's the way to go. How much is that? There. It's 122. That meadow field, we can, we can mow that as soon as we finished with field 51. Yep, let's buy that. I think that's our next move. Yes, and that we can, so it's this field, it's probably this field up here, just jump over the fence, and I think it's quite big, it's quite big. Oh yeah, that was a good buy. That was a good buy. We're probably going to have to create field in here. But we'll get some grass off there to make some money. But I think while we're waiting for that to finish, let's go and do one of those contracts. So we can have it little bit of a look around the map. Harvesting contract uh, field 31, fertilizing field 33. Let's do the harvesting and we'll borrow the items. And okay. So I presume they can be at the shop. Yep, the other way here. Where's the harvester? There it is there. Well, how are we going to get on there? That, that's another problem, isn't it? How are we going to get this sorted? So there's just not enough room in the shop to be able to do... I suppose there would have been a bit more room if I didn't have that there. Let's see how we can manipulate this. To be able to just shift that out. Oops, we're stuck on something. Can we just nudge this across? Yeah. It's just. Oops. There we go. Let's find out where field. What field was it that we would need to be on again? Field thirty-three, uh, field thirty-one. Field thirty-one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There. So we are here. So it's basically down to the crossroads and back up there. Yep. Okay. Should I suppose put it on there, but we'll we'll see if we can get away with terrorizing the traffic. Oh, I don't think we're going to get through here, are we? Okay, so that cancels that out. We're going to take out our bag off. No. Yep. 
Yeah, it looks good. Drop it off. Maybe we can just hitch this up to the John Deere. I think it'll tow it. There we go. It's a lot easier. Should have just done it in the first place. <laughs> that's good. It's a big. That's a positive for the map. It's making you work it properly. Really picturesque the map. Nothing flat about it. There's a lot of hill spots to be worked at, so you need to think about the equipment that you're using. I don't think it's going to be a map where you can use mega sized equipment. Could cut across that little bit of a corner there, but I think we need to go down this track here. I don't know whether we're going to be able to take this turn. Let's see. Yep, yeah, just made it. We could have just crossed, cut across it. Oh, was there a fence up there? I didn't see. I don't think there was a fence up there. Right. Let's get this geared up. Of course, we'll have to uh, utilize it. We only, no, we don't have uh, we We are using borrowed equipment, so we will have a tractor to be able to do the. The carting of the grain. And. Unfold it. I don't know what the capacity of this, but I would imagine it's not huge. And turn on the harvester and let's get going. We'll do a couple of headlands quickly. Put it onto the worker and then we'll go back and fetch the tractor and trailer. So have a look and see and hopefully we'll be able to get at least the grass cut on the new field that we've got on this first day. Right, okay so we finished there. How are we looking? Oh, why well, hasn't it done this properly? It says growing. I can't see why it wouldn't have planted. Or if we run out of seed. If we run out of seed, that might be it. 
Oh, we've got plenty of seed. Hmm. Not sure what's happening here now. So that shows canola growing. If I go into the heart of this, canola growing. So it just didn't change the texture. Interesting, interesting, interesting. A couple of little quirks coming out this first little play of the map. The other thing is that we don't really have an access track to this map or to this field. Not a major issue. So we've only used about yeah, we haven't used much it's pointless actually going back to try and get the to go and fill up the cedar. Uh, fold cedar. Turn on cedar, it's turned off. Yep. We'll just get it parked up, we'll leave the seed in there. For now we'll go and put the mower on. I think is a front edge mower, so put the weight on the back. Well, it's just, I don't think we're going to need the weight for that. We'll just pop the weight over here. And we'll just go and get that nearly full tank of grain. So we're going to have to go and sort that out as well. Let's just get this hooked up. Let's just have a look and see. It just doesn't look right. I just hope that that is actually planted. And let's have a look and see how we can get into that field that we've just bought. I wonder if we'll have to drive through. And there's a place up the top here. It's got a fence around it. Hmm. Where do we get into it? get in there, through there, so maybe through that road at the top there. Is there a way through this farm? Doubt it. Wait a minute, is that a... Here we go. There we go. Entrance over there. So let's get this lowered, unfolded. Lowered and turn on the mower. So, where does this? Oh, there we go, we are cutting. Let's have a look and see what we've bought now. So this is just a meta field, so we're going to have to do this manually. We'll have to come back and get this done once we've done the contract. Probably waiting for us to come and empty it now. But let's just quickly see what we've bought. And then we can... We can go and finish off that contract and then come back in. Oops. Strange little shapes. 
not too worried about that. It actually gives a little bit of character to the to the map. I'm glad I didn't come and look around the top first because there's no way in. Really glad that we looked. So this is going to be a, a option of expanding our operation into. grass field we can convert into a nice big field let's go with our arable operations we don't have access we do, we do have access you don't have access it's just gonna have a look and see how far we gave access down this way I've always found that this is one of the easiest ways to find out where your where your boundaries are. Is that cat? Yeah, that cat's. Just put the mower on, and you'll find out where you. So that's quite strange there. So. Let's just have a look and see if we just go a little bit over. Yeah, so it's a very reasonable size field. Right, you're back with me and we've just got the notification that our worker has got a nearly full tank of grain. So we'll just do this pass to the top here again. And then we'll nip over there and go and sort that out, see how that's going, and then come back. So we have got a quite a bit more done since we last spoke to you. But uh, with this little mower on, it's a, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a pain. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh dear. I think we just about finished this field as well. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be able to uh, finish everything off without having to come back on it. Here we go. I think it'll do it. I think it'll do it. And we'll definitely get every, everything in into the uh, to the trailer. That's for sure. Because it's probably not going to be a hundred percent full. Won't be far off. It should just complete now. I would think. Yep. Go and get ourselves into position. So the worker would have absconded by now, so let's get the pipe out. Get it turned on. And pop into the John Deere. Should offload. Yep, yeah, I pulled it. I didn't look to see how much was in there actually. But we'll see what's in. So where do we have to deliver this to? That is going to be the next question. That's going to be quite nice because we'll be able to take a little drive around the field, at least around the map, to get to the delivery point. Hopefully it's not too close. You don't often say that in this game. So where are we? Contract. 
Oh, there's plenty of contracts all of a sudden come up now. So the lots of fertilizing contracts and harvesting contracts coming up. So that's not too bad. Uh, so we need to take this to Agri Agri Handel Fluchtenberg. And I've got a feeling that's not too far away because we are in Flechtenberg. So in any case, let's go and have a look and see where that is. Uh, Agri Handel, the best way I find to find out what it is is to go there and we'll tag that. Have a quick look around. Yeah, it's just at the back of us. Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm going up there because I think that's fenced off. Eighteen thousand. Hopefully we'll make a little bit of money on over delivery. We won't go across it, we'll do this properly and go up the up the track. Try and make the turn with all the traffic coming up and going around. Should be interesting. And the telephone pole there. Any traffic coming up is going to have to stop. Here we go, we've got that done. Yeah, a little. Maybe not. Do we have to go up here? Let's go this way and see. Sorry, traffic. I'm new, new to the area. New to the area. Trying to find my way around. I suppose we should put the the map up on the other side and have a look, but uh, what we'll do is we'll this will give us an opportunity to drive around. You know it's down to the left there now. Game past our farm now. And flichten back if it is Past the shop. Uh, you may not be on the right area of the map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to must probably go down this road. goes around the corner there. Looks like some delivery areas down here. Come to the T-junction here, yeah, we'll be able to have a look and see where we are. Oops, that's the end. Yep, yeah, so we should be down at the bottom there. Right here. Let's I wonder if we can get down there with this road. Let's try. Nice little tree tree lined area. Oops. Looks like the grain mill. 
by the looks of things. Very nice. Yeah, the buildings are all very nice. The rest of the map seems to be pretty well made. Just by that little drive around we've kind of skirted the top of the map going down. Then we'll try and instead of just returning this straight away we will can we get in this way? Yes we can. So this is going to be a one-way system. Oh, we're going to get this gate to open. Yep. should be completed after we've lo loaded this off. Yep, and we made an extra 3,000. Not to be scoffed at. Take a little drive around here and... This is obviously the main sort of co-op type operation. Train line. Do we, can we summon the train here? Doesn't look like it. Should be able to. It summons the train and have a look. There we go. Two fifty per hour. Which way is it going to come from? It looks like it's an electric train. The train still hasn't arrived. Oh, there it is there. Yeah. Diesel, at least an uh, electric train. Oh, look at that. See that, that rose up as we got in there. Let's go for a little ride. Okay, returning on the other side of the that wasn't too far, was it? <laughs> so, let's have a little drive around. So if we go back down that way, we'll pretty much go off the map, so... Let's go back up here, and... So we're kind of going back up to the farm now. Where, do, where does it lead? It leads into... Oh, that's where we went into the... I suppose it's that, it's actually the train station really, isn't it? So the hills are quite steep. The uh, John Deere taking a little bit of strain going up the hill. So we're pretty much going to... we're heading pretty much back up to where our farm is. I don't think we'll come out by the farm, we're actually going to come out. It's going to double back and come out on the 
what we'll do is we'll it's going to go back into the town area of, over there but if we take the shortcut through here it should bring us out just below our farm and then we can go back into the into the eponymous let's not try to be clever and go back into the to the town so we are just up a drag there so this is where we walked along when we came into and we walked up to our farm so the field that we harvested is just he's probably going to be able to see the harvester sitting in the field there we go So we'll just go for a little drive down this part of town. These are the cattle farm. That's the church where we originally started. through town fairly tight more delivery points up here and is that the stone crusher over there so it looks like cheese making dairy or by the looks of things stone crusher Right next to the dairy, unusual, not where you would normally look for it. That's not a problem. And this is it's a cheese dairy. And what is this one here? Cheese dairy and dairy, two diff two dairies. Mm. Yeah, not sure, but still holding up traffic. It doesn't look like it has any delivery points or anything along those lines. Just a nice big house. Lots and lots of fields. Take a little trip up the top here. Okay, so the, de the detail on the map is really good. The buildings on the face of it look pretty good. This looks like it could be another farm. Looks like another dairy farm of some sorts. Unfortunately, we can't get into it until we buy them. And as I said, it's not a full map tour, so this is just giving you. So there's plenty of places to buy on this farm, on this map. It's probably best to um, to 
to take the 1.5 million and uh, and start where you want to basically because there's just lots of these little farms around another one there but we're heading up to the biogas plant so there's another little farm here this looks more set up for arable farming not much storage space and then over here we have the I'm going to say this is the animal dealer here that's cool so if we just looked at the bottom there yep so we're pretty much at the top of the map now and I'm going to hazard a guess that this will bring us out into the place to do your silaging and such like. What do we have here? Is this a heating plant or something? Biogas plants. How much do they want for the biogas plant? 220,000? So that's not too bad. Well, yeah, 60,000. That's a long way off. More meadows to be bought by the looks of things. And if we can get out this way. Looks like it. do we have here? Oh, that was the animal dealer. Let's head on back. Plenty of fields to buy with crop in them as well by the looks of things. And it does look like they've been sprayed off. Let's have a quick look. That's interesting. Ready to harvest but only 38%. Yeah, so it looks like they sprayed off but they're not really still very low yield on them but when you don't pay for it, it kind of pays for the field so if you are looking to buy fields with crop in them where are we now we're down there I don't think we'll go up there for now there's the train going. So it looks like we were just at the end of the line. And eating plant, I think. So 
sell wood. Yeah. Where's the sawmill? I think it's a heating plant for. Let's have a look and see what's across the road here as well. Sugar. for sugar beet I would imagine not really sugar cane area here we go across the train line well while we're waiting for the train we'll just pop in down here I'm going to have a look and see as I thought this is the farmers market Mark Mart First in London Bain Mart Farms You would think Farmers Market and it's probably a lime station or something like that. So sure that the contract is going to enjoy having a bit of lime come back. Gets a bit of free lime, I suppose. The train's still not here. I might just have to abandon that. My dear. How far away is it? Return rented train. Becoming a little bit obsessed with where the train goes. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's forget about that. And what's going to happen as soon as I leave here? It's going to arrive. Let's just go and check one more time. Yeah, it's quite close. Right, let's see where it goes to now. Uh, that's better. Nice little travel through the countryside.
And there we go. I think we're coming up to the train station now. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's good. And of course that's where we delivered to the last time. Right. So if we just go along here and then we're gonna try and get back to the farm now. So we're right down at the bottom. The map go along this track. Some nice big fields coming down this side. There's a nice big field. Yes, yeah, so a lot of different sized fields. Oh, should we see if we can get through underneath here? Yeah, we can't get underneath it. Too low. Or oh, we too high probably take a car or something down there. You can certainly chase your cattle through there. Go straight up this road. Because if we carry on down here we could get back to where and you can hire the train there as well. Not sure why you'd want to hire it there. more farms along here. Plenty of farms to buy. It looks like more cattle farming. And here we go. Where are we, go? Where are we going to come out? Oh, there you go. I can see the church. spawning point right with that little tour it didn't give us much time to work on that grass field but I think you've got the gist of the the map, as I said, it's not a full map tour, it's just a, hey, what can you do in the first day on this map with uh, a new farmer mode? I'm thinking you should start this as farm manager mode, take the 1.5 1, 1 million and maybe buy a slightly bigger farm to get going. There's plenty to do, but also, as I said, this if you can just afford to buy a couple of these little meadows and convert, convert them into fields. I think you can get a good start. Small to medium size uh, vehicles, rec my, my recommendation. And yeah. Besides just the odd little quirkiness here and there, I kind of like the map. Typical European map. If we just run up here, that's the field that we've just done. Jump over here, and that's the grass field that we're busy working on. And of course, We can get paid for our first harvest, 4065 minus the leasing costs, just under four grand. Plus we made three grand on the, not to be scoffed at, collect, etc. Some bailing contracts. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little type of series. It's going to take a bit of time to get through these things. Not sure how long it'll edit down to, but it's probably going to be over the hour. But it does give you a little bit of an idea of what's happening. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.